Well, hello. Um, it's a beautiful day in, uh, in April in the Northeast here, and it's really a busy time for, for getting the garden going. So um, it's time actually to maybe be preparing for the fruiting vegetables, tomatoes, eggplants, squash, and all that kind of thing. So it's too early to plant them out in the garden, and they're best, of course, grown from, from seedlings. So you can go um, to a nursery and get um, a little seedling in a container like this. And of course, um, that's gonna cost you a little bit of money, but I prefer to um, actually save my yogurt containers like this, about this size. And I'm going to use this to, to make seedlings. So I'm gonna cut the bottom off of um, this yogurt container using a box knife and uh, all the way around of course and um, take that and throw it away and I'm going to put the lid on the top and I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to fill uh, this with um, some potting soil uh, right up uh, very close to the top. Add in some seeds, two or three seeds. I'm actually putting in some, some butternut squash seeds and then um, use a little more soil to cover them up and then uh, Add some water to make them um, moist so that um, they'll start to grow indoors in front of a window or as I do underneath some just some fluorescent lights and it works very well. So I've been um, doing as I said uh, seedlings indoors and these are a couple of, uh, of little tomato plants that have been growing inside. So when you go to plant these in the garden it's a very simple process. You just have to take uh, the lid off the bottom uh, and then you just have to push down on this right into the spot that uh, you prepared in the in the garden and it's a very simple process you don't have to turn things upside down so it works very very well transplanting these into the garden very easy so i prepared um, some of these little um, slightly raised beds out here to put um, all of my fruiting vegetables in, the eggplants, the squashes, um, cucumbers, that kind of thing. And I'm gonna be planting, of course, uh, two or three uh, plants, maybe in each one of these, and um, see how they do. In the meantime, I've um, actually transplanted out here a couple of um, string bean plants. Uh, it's good to um, have some companion planting with squash string beans or any kind of legume can go very well with squash. I usually plant uh, radishes with the cucumbers and uh, it's good to have them growing now and then um, by the time the squash plant gets going and uh, starts to get big, these uh, bean plants will maybe be just about done. Now in the middle here I have buried uh, a, little, a little bottle um, and I've put some holes up and down the side. I'm going to use this actually, uh, could be used actually to water these plants if it does get very, very dry here, which doesn't usually happen. But also, it's a good way to fertilize um, these plants individually. The only fertilizer I use is fish fertilizer in liquid form. So I just put a little fish fertilizer in the top um, or mix it in with the water first, put the water with the fish fertilizer in, and that can um, fertilize each one of these plants. If I have enough uh, bottles, something like this, almost any kind of bottle about this size will do. 